Hello everyone, I hope we're doing well. Today I want to do a quick video. We'll see how quick I can make it. Sorry. Setup's a bit weird. In a new apartment. It's been about a year since I uploaded. Um, almost graduated with college. Anyways, so I've ventured into Korean sunscreens and this summer I went to Houston, Texas. And I brought with me a certain Korean sunscreen, and wow, it just really outperformed. So I just always, after that point, I really just loved it. Side note, if you see me fanning myself in this video, it's because I turned off the fans. And I'm so hot in this apartment complex right now. And if you hear jingling, it's because right there, you can't see it on my bed, my cat's sleeping. He's licking himself right now. Anyways, alright, let's just get right into it. So, let me just first off talk about the one that is probably, we've all heard about it before, like, whatever, we've all heard of it. It's the most expensive one I have. I love cheap cream sunscreen, so. This is the most expensive one I have. It's the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I think we've all seen this. It's $18. If you have dry skin, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one for you. Um, it dries down, but it's very moisturizing. This one and another one I will point out is very moisturizing, but the other one's more emollient. This one's very like hydrating. The other one more like, locks it in. This is just hydrating to begin with. So, should I recommend it? Would I purchase it again? If it's on sale and not 18, 20 bucks, yeah, I would. But it's kind of out of my price range for what I like. So, uh, let's move into the one that's the hydrating one. Um, actually, there's two that's hydrating. I will talk about the first one right now. The other one is part of another sunscreen family. It's by the same company, but whatever. This is the Enjoy Super Mild Sun Essence by Skinnick. This one's about, like... 10 11 dollars really good extremely hydrating i think it has a filter in there that might have a little bit of a cast it's all chemical all these sunscreens are chemical sunscreens but i've noticed this one does have a kind of like a little bit of a cast like a tiny bit of a cast for a second and then it goes away once it soaks in but i wonder for like deeper skins if that would have any effect amazing sunscreen great all these are great for working out in because i work on all my sunscreens and then I reapply all my sunscreens every single day, like I like wash my face after work, you know, whatever. Really good sunscreen if you're indoors, outdoors. Make sure you reapply if you're outdoors. Uh, really good. This is probably the cheapest one I think I have in like this roundup right here. I think no, this was eight dollars, eight to ten dollars. Um, but let's go into my favorites. These two are my favorites. Let's go into the one that I first fell in love with. This is the one that made me purchase two more of these from the brand and another one. This is the Avocado Moisture Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Plus by Bellflower. This is so good. It's not like overly hydrating. Like the other ones are very hydrating. This one's a good one if you don't need that hydration. Like these two. And the next one I'm talking about, you don't need a moisturizer if you wake up and your skin's not, like, dry. You don't need a moisturizer. That can be your sunscreen and moisturizer. This is a good one to put over a moisturizer, or if you are extremely oily, you can use this. And it's not even, like, it's still a lotion. It feels like CeraVe Helium Lotion. The CeraVe, like, lotion. That's what this feels like. It's amazing. I love it. it none of my sunscreens that I'm talking about burn or sting or anything. I put these all over my face, all over my lips, everything, like, oh, everything. This made me fall in love with, guess what? The Bellflower Watermelon Fresh Sunscreen, SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. This one, now I have two backups of these in my cabinet, in my bathroom. This one though, oh my God. So it's about to be winter now. My skin's starting to, it's starting to get cold over here. I live in the Midwest. Uh, despite the A&M hat, I live in the Midwest, I live in Illinois. Um, 
this one's insane. This one really, it's, it has a, the one thing is it has an interesting pink hue. Do you see that? And so like sometimes it can show up, but like it doesn't like, it doesn't really show up on your skin at all. It's amazing. I love this. This is extremely moisturizing. This one feels like the CeraVe cream instead of the CeraVe lotion. This feels like the CeraVe lotion. This feels like the CeraVe cream. Both don't sting or anything. Smell like, well, basically nothing. They don't, they're, none of my sunscreens I talked to you about today have fragrance. But I'm telling you, this brand right here, these are the only two from, they make other sunscreens. These are the only two that I found so far that are fragrance free. So, th that it, there's that. Um, but these two are so good. Like, I have two more of these I can't wait to use. I'm gonna order, like, probably two more of these. Like, because these are only 50 milliliters. All these are only 50. Yeah, 50 milliliters. All these. But they're all so good. Like, this one's the most expensive. This one's the cheapest. This one will be the most, this one will be as hydrating as these two, but this one is greasier or shinier. These two are not shiny at all. This one feels like a lotion. This one feels like a cream. And that's how I'll break down my past summer and leading into the school year. So yeah, that's it. Quick, this is that's this quick video. I just want to get a really quick video out there because I haven't posted in forever. Um, maybe I'll talk about everything. I don't know. I filmed a video, like a forty-five minute video of me unboxing all these sunscreens when I first got it, and I just never came went around to editing it. Life has been so busy for me. Uh, you'll notice I'm like whispering right now because I'm right next to the wall. And I have neighbors, so I don't want to be loud, but, yeah. It's late at night, so I'll go. I hope you guys are having a good one. Hopefully, I'll edit this and get this out um, fairly soon, since it's short, but we'll see. Keep on keeping on. And I'll say this from now on in every video. Where is she? Go on, Tesla. Rock on.